So, um, this is going to be a more serious video, and I'm going to talk about some uncomfortable stuff, so just be ready for that. <clears throat> In America, we've had another series of mass shootings, and it's been especially horrific lately because these mass shootings took place over, if I'm correct, a 48-hour period of time. We had three different shootings, to my knowledge, possibly more because we don't always get all of the mass shooting statistics. But we had people, innocent people, shot at, killed, over, in my opinion, stupid, frivolous bullshit. I don't care about your manifesto, you're a fucking bitch if you go into a place with a loaded weapon and hurt people with it. I mean, I live in the South, there are people that walk around with their weapons holstered we have carry permits and all these things. I see guns in Walmart all the time. <clears throat> and I've never once felt like, oh God, this person's going to start shooting. No, they're just trying to buy some fucking soda. But we've had a series of mass shootings. And once again, everyone wants to blame everything that isn't the problem. You have a group of people going, we need to ban all guns. You have another group of people, what's the video games? They're causing the violence. And I made a video like this. A little over a year ago, a little over a fucking year ago, I made a video like this talking about why these things happen. So I'm going to make another video and I'm going to talk about this situation again and I'm going to explain to you in minute detail why it is not the fault of something as frivolous as video games. And I'm going to use my usual flawless logic. So while this is going to be an uncomfortable topic, I'd appreciate it if you hit that like button and if possible, share this video with your friends. Video games do not cause violence. Video games do not cause a mentally deranged individual to go into a Walmart with a weapon with the intent of hurting and killing other people. Video games are for entertainment, just like books, music, and movies. You have violent content in movies all the time, but I'm not seeing anybody blame John Wick Chapter 3 for these strings of mass shootings. I'm not seeing anybody blame the latest gangster rap album for these mass shootings. There's a bird right there who's pissing me off. Sk! Go away! Bye. <clears throat> I don't see anybody blaming books for this, although it has happened in the past. I think something happened with... um. Was, was the JFK assassination blamed on a book? I think it was. Anywho, I'm tired of seeing people blame entertainment medium for things that happen in this world that are violent and hateful and horrible. And real quick, I want to bring up an argument I saw because people are arguing about guns again. I'm an American. I have a gun. I believe in the right to own a gun. There are responsible gun owners in this country, millions of them. <clears throat> and I saw a person arguing and this argument was perfect, and I think it sums up my thoughts on why it is I should be allowed to keep my gun, even with this horrible shit happening. Are you ready for this? Because this is, this is good shit. <clears throat> Here's the argument. How many deaths by gun violence need to happen before you give up your gun? And here's the reply. How many rapes need to happen before you cut off your dick? Now I want you to process that. I want you to take that into your brain and analyze it <clears throat> because it makes a lot of fucking sense it makes a lot of sense but aside from the gun debate which is a American problem I see British people all the time you know <laughs> oh god America and their their shootings oh well we don't have any gun crimes in Britain no but let's look up your knife crime statistics shut the fuck up and suck my American cock Video games do not cause violence. Video games have been around <clears throat> for what, 30, 40 years? Tops. I mean, I'm, I'm going back. I mean, you can only go back so far before it's no longer a video game and it's a goddamn glorified board game. But video games have been around for about 30 to 40 years. You have like the Atari, the, the, the fucking Odyssey. The Odyssey wasn't even really a game. I, I don't fucking consider it a game. But... Video games have been around for about 30 to 40 years. 30 to 40 years. 30 to 40 years. 
humans have existed for thousands of fucking years, and we have always done horrible shit to one another. So I'm going to take you on a little history lesson real quick, and I'm going to ask you very important questions. Let's go back a little bit into human history. There was a time in which many of the humans on this planet began fighting one another. I believe they're called world wars. <clears throat> there was a time in which America was attacked by Japan at Pearl Harbor. Thousands of people lost their lives on both sides. And in retaliation, America dropped not one, but two atom bombs on Japan, costing millions of lives. Did video games exist during World War II? Were they the culprit? Did a member of the Socialist Party, because that's what it was, the Socialist Party of Germany, did a member of the Socialist Party determine that six million Jews need to be exterminated because he played too much of a violent video game? Is that the case? Did that happen? I don't think so. Let's go a little bit further back into American history. There was a time in which <clears throat> the American colonies began importing thousands if not millions, I don't know the numbers or the statistics, of humans and enslaved them. It's not something that any American today is proud of, and I will not take responsibility for anything my ancestors did. You can go fuck yourself with your reparations. Can you tell I, I trigger people on Facebook all the time? There was a point in which this country had humans enslaved to do the bidding of their masters. People were abused, raped, and killed. And I have to ask, did video games cause it? Did an entertainment medium cause this? Were people's lives bartered because of video games? I don't think so. Let's go a little further into our fucking past. <clears throat> there was a time in which particularly women were rounded up tied to a wooden plank and burned the fuck alive for the crime of being a witch. Did video games cause that? Or did people cause that? We could go further back into history. A lot of you know many different things. There have been wars and scuffles and violence throughout all fucking time. Since before we had ARs, which if you're an idiot, AR doesn't stand for assault rifle. It stands for Armalite rifle. It's just a type of fucking rifle. And if you're an idiot, you also don't know that it's kind of impossible for most law-abiding citizens to get fully automatic weapons. It just doesn't happen. Now, that's not to say people can't get them through nefarious means. But a gun law being stricter isn't going to stop someone from getting a weapon if they really want it. Before we had rifles, before we had atom bombs, we killed each other with fucking rocks and sticks. Video games didn't cause that. People caused that. And I'm so sick and tired of seeing dumb motherfuckers, even a president, which I voted for, and I'll vote for him again, but goddamn was I pissed off hearing Donald Trump going, well, it's these violent video games. No the fuck it isn't, you goddamn Cheeto. It isn't video games. It's people. There are people in this world that are bad. There are people in this world that are deranged. There are people in this world that suffer from mental illness. It happens. Where you have people like me that almost took themselves out, you have other people that get so hopeless and so deranged and so terrible that they decide they're not going to hurt themselves, they're going to hurt others. Any one of you watching this right now has dealt with this. A high school bully, a bad co-worker, an abusive ex. There are people in this world that have problems. And they manifest those problems in a number of different ways. Some people drink, some people smoke. And some people hurt others. There's a lot of bad shit in this world. 
and if the government would pay more attention to people's mental health and less to video games and guns, they might be able to nip this problem in the bud and stop it from happening. It sickens me to think that they care more about an entertainment medium than the mental health of individuals that are causing these things to happen. It bothers me to my core to think that it's just another scapegoat. I believe in the right to the the right to bear arms. I believe in the Second Amendment. I don't view a gun as a weapon for killing. I view it as a tool, like any other tool in this world. You can use it for hunting, you can use it for home defense, you can use it for personal defense. And I have no issue in this world with someone who gets the weapon, registers it, and allow and, and goes through the proper um, procedures to get a carry permit, whether it's concealed or open, which we have a lot of open carry. I have no problem with a person having a weapon on them if they feel like they need to defend themselves. I have no issue with that. I think it's a good thing. I, I believe that people should be allowed to defend themselves. And in an instance like this in which someone takes a weapon and uses it against other people for harm, for malicious intent, that is terrible but it has no basis on those other millions and millions of people that have that weapon legally and morally and correctly. A weapon like that, a gun, is a tool. It is a tool. And you can use tools in a number of different ways, okay? You've got knife crimes going like crazy in Britain. Are they going to ban knives suddenly? I don't know. Are we going to ban hammers? Because I got into a fight with a neighbor one time, and he hit me in the head with a hammer like three or four times and split my scalp open. I had to go get staples. Are we going to ban hammers now? No, it's a fucking tool. I've used hammers. I have a hammer. I'm not afraid of the fucking hammer. It's a tool. It's an inanimate object. I can take my rifle that I have. I can sit it on this porch, put the bullets right next to it, and leave it all fucking day, and nothing's going to fucking happen. Because until a person comes along, puts those bullets in that rifle, and uses it maliciously, it's just an object. It's just a tool. The exact same way that hammers and screwdrivers and power saws, those are tools. But I'm pretty sure... pretty sure that somebody could take a skill saw and use it maliciously to hurt another person. Does that mean that skill saws need to be banned? There's so many big huge trucks going by. Holy crap. <clears throat> Does that mean skill saws need to be banned because somebody can take a skill saw and do horrible things to another human being with it? No. Do hammers need to be banned? No. Do knives need to be banned? No. Do screwdrivers need to be banned? No. You have other things. You've got mace and tasers, those are defense items. They're there to protect your person. And they have been used maliciously. I've seen how people will tase other people just because they're angry. I've seen how people will spray a dude in the face, hell, a woman in the face with mace, because they're angry. Does that mean that these things need to be banned? No. There's a lot of things in this world that you can hurt people with. <sighs> Including your own person. Your hands, your feet, your genitals. Do these things need to be banned? No. This issue isn't caused by guns. This issue isn't caused by video games. This issue isn't caused by anything other than the fact that people are garbage. And in this world, you'll meet a lot of different people that are garbage. You have a lot of good people in your life, a lot of friends, a lot of family. And even some of those people may have hurt you in the past. Emotionally, physically. I'm sick and tired of seeing everyone skirt around the issue. And I gave you a history lesson because video games didn't exist when women were being burned alive. Video games didn't exist when humans are being enslaved and abused. And I'm not sure, but I don't think video games existed when we dropped two atom bombs on Japan. People are bad.
people are bad. And the sooner you get that through your fucking head, the better off you'll be. Stop acting like this issue is caused by objects when that's all they are. And if you're going to be a person <clears throat> who claims that objects are the cause of this problem, I'm going to bring another object to your mind real quick. You know how I mentioned that I can sit the rifle on my porch and it'll hurt nobody because you have to actually use it? Well, let's say you're some liberal shill. Some feminist piece of crap that hates entertainment and says that video games cause violence and guns cause violence. Let me bring another object to your mind. I can come out here with a big black dildo and slam it down on the porch. And it's not going to fuck a single person until you yourself come sit and spin on it. This issue pisses me off and I get tired of stupid motherfuckers that don't even care about the real issue. They just want to control. They just want to abuse power. And they want to make more laws that are not going to protect innocent civilians. Because I'll tell you another bit of advice. Criminals and bad people will always find a way to do what they want. And a strict gun law or some sort of video game tax isn't going to do a goddamn thing to stop that. So think about that the next time one of these mass shootings happens. Think about the mental health of the person that decided to do this. Think about what's going through their mind. Sure. You have these dumbass manifestos. People claiming that they're mad at immigrants. People claiming that they're mad about the president. People claiming that they're mad about this. What gets them to that point? That's the issue. That's what you need to focus on. But nobody seems to ever focus on it. Nobody ever seems to care. When I was at the lowest point in my life, I thought very long and hard while I was walking around Clearwater, Florida about taking a razor blade that I had from work because I cut open boxes in stock. I thought long and hard about taking that razor blade and dragging it down my arm and bleeding out because my mental health was so bad that that's where my brain was. And that happens to people. It happens every day. And some people aren't lucky enough or fortunate enough or have the, the ability to walk into a hospital and instead of killing themselves, saying, hey, I'm suicidal, help me. And I spent some time building myself back up from that moment. I could have been on the other side of it. I could have been like, I'm, I'm so low in my life, I want to hurt other people instead of myself. It's a mental health issue. That's all it's ever been. People have problems. People have issues. Some people drink. Some people smoke. Some people hurt others. And it's up to you to identify this shit before it gets out of hand. If you have a friend or a family member that's going through some shit, talk to them. Give a fuck about them. Because maybe... Maybe, if you pay attention to this person who has these problems before the situation escalates to the point that they want to hurt themselves or others, maybe you can prevent more loss of life than some stupid fucking gaming tax or some gun ban ever could. Because that's the thing. It's about people. You got someone you love, they're depressed, they feel hopeless, they hurt, they need you. Be there for them. Because if you don't do that, you're part of the problem and you don't even know it. I hope you've gotten something out of this video. I don't know if you did. It's an important thing to talk about. It's 
very important to talk about. People are bad. But you can change that. Help them. Before they throw their lives away and throw other people's lives away over something that can be treated. Thank you for watching. Be sure to hit the like button. Share this with your friends. Share this with your family. And I'm going to do one more thing. I have a bunch of subscribers. And in the past, I've seen them message me and talk about their mental illness. If you hurt, if you hurt deep down inside, if you feel hopeless to the point that you want to hurt yourself or others, my inbox is right there. I've got a Facebook. I've got a PlayStation ID and I've got an Xbox gamer tag. Message me. Just send me a fucking message and I'll talk to you. I actually care because I've been there before. I almost killed myself. So if you're hurting, and you feel like nobody else is going to listen to you, I'll fucking listen to you. Just message me. Thank you for watching. Do take care.